Number 13? Yeah, not really number 13, bro. Uh, I'm gonna do magic? Alright, I guess. Hello, my name is Trails and welcome to the fourth episode of Clue Scroll Only Iron Man. If you don't get the rules by now, look on the screen or look in the description, you get the gist of it. Let's go. So my last Clue Scroll was Clue Scroll number 14, so this is 15. Then we got a couple of teleports and a Sarah page and firelighters, three uniques. Let's go. The teleports are going to be so useful. I'm actually really glad that Clue Scrolls give teleports now. So yeah, the teleports are really going to help me, especially on this account. <laughs> Ooh, fashion scape. Let's go. Ooh. <laughs> fashion scape with a bit of Zamorak page. I like it. I love it. Now that, that is the full outfit I want. So my plan this episode, as I said, is to try and figure out a way on how to get around the map quicker. Now, first we're going to catch ourselves a clue, because if that clue gives us a fishing requirement, which I don't think it can on easy, if we can do fishing trawler at 15 fishing, we can actually get the RD cloak with the RD achievement diaries, and then we can teleport to Ardone, which is going to make our lives so much easier, because getting to Camelot is horrible. I have to go from either Catherby with a boat, which costs me 1k every time, or I have to run all the way from Castle Wars. It's really, really, really awful. So the Arty Cloak would be a gem to get. So I just got 38 thieving, thought I'd let you guys know. Now we can pickpocket Master Farmers. This is all just by pickpocketing hand members. It's really funny. But the um, Master Farmers are going to be useful in the future, probably, if I'm ever planning on maxing this account or anything. <laughs> Let's see what we get. That's good because I need these type of items. I need those uh, H4, H whatever helmets for uh, elite and master clues. So really, I need to start stacking those up. That's amazing. Unique number three, I think. Boom. And some more fire ladders. All right. Black full helm. Don't have that one yet. And I yeah, do have the black pickaxe. But uh, those are two things I don't have yet. I'm happy. I'm just happy that I'm banging out these clues as easy as I am right now. So very soon. We will be at 50, and then we're already halfway, and then we can start medium clues. I'm so excited for the medium ones. By the way, 1.4 mil bank. It's probably all the bowstrings, but still. Boom, smack it out. I have a one eye teleports. All right. And a bit of coin, because my coin stack was going down and down because I keep having to buy chronicles. So the coins are incredibly, incredibly good right now. That's maybe a bit of an overstatement, but still. Holy shit. 90k clue? Go open that boy. My god, I'm lagging. But Why am I lagging so bad? What is that? It looks amazing. Hello? Bandos rope top. Damn! Oh, I need 20 prayer, really? Jesus, that's a nice unique. I love this. Quick tip if you ever need to go to Port Sarum real quick and you're in Alcarid or in Lummi, uh, then just talk to this guy, say, what is this place? It's also noted right here on the left, by the way. Uh, but identify yourself as an outlaw, you'll get put in this small jail over here and then you'll have to refuse the five gold pieces. Um, there you go. And you get sent straight to Port Sarum. No, do your worst. Get out of here. There we go. I need to be here for a clue, by the way. So, there we go. Boom. Mithril pickaxe. We got it. Yes! Finally, we can train some attack, and I'm gonna try and find an interesting way to train it. I decided to train my attack by just doing quests, because I really want to get some quest points, get some rewards, and just get some quests done, because I've been pickpocketing hand members and completing clues for the last couple hours. So, Vampire Slayer is the first one. Let's do this. There we go. That's Vampire Slayer done. My attack level is now... Oh, shit. That's one too high. I didn't even calculate it. What? Oops. I didn't... What the hell? How is 5k experience... No, what was it? How is 4.8k experience from level 5 to 20... Oh, crap. Uh, guys. I apologize. I screwed up. Well, I guess we're already done questing. Uh, damn it. I thought I could do about three quests. All right, new morph. Another massive cut in my budget, probably. Okay, 1.3. That's all right. Look at these stats, though. This is the weirdest account ever. 21 attack, 1 strength, 20 defense, what? 28 range? Oh, yeah, by the way, I hit 40 thieving. Uh, I forgot to show you guys because my rune, uh, what's it called? Rune light completely crashed. But uh, at 41 thieving, I will pull up a sheet to show how many ham members I've actually pickpocketed. It's going to be a lot. So <laughs> it's going to be pretty fun. I see. What the fuck? 
excuse me for that overreaction, but that sleeping cap is incredible. And a wizard... <laughs> That's the best clue if I've ever gotten. That, that, that wasn't even English. Wait, wasn't there a special emote you could do with his sleeping cap? Hang on. Look at that! It's like getting a skill cape. Damn. That's incredible. And the beautiful... That, that wizard's hat is sick. I'm, I'm absolutely... I'm, I'm lost for words. The mithril pickaxe clue is what did it. Was it my 30th? No, it wasn't 29th. Okay. There we go. Boom, another beautiful one like last one. I want a magic tea. All right, it's a unique. I already have an amulet of magic, so it's not that special, but... You know, it's it's uniques, and I love uniques, so... <laughs> Whoa, ooh, mm. I don't know if that's good. Double unique, but double trash, to be honest. There we go, that's 41 thieving, only pickpocketing hand members, so I'm really curious as to how many hand members I've actually pickpocketed. So, here we go, hand members. Let's take an average between the men and the women, because I don't know how many of each have pickpocketed, but that's about 1,700, 1,800 hand members. Remember, that is for 32 clues. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. 1,600. Uh, how many did we get? 32. That's 50. 1 in 50. Is that correct? Let's see the wiki over here. It's exactly 1 out of 50. So, it is true, I can confirm, after pickpocketing 1,600 hand members, I got 50 clues. Uh, what am I saying? You get 1 out of 50 is a clue. All right, and here's where I'm going to end it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Next Tuesday, we will be over 50 clues. We will be halfway there to move on to medium clues. So I hope to see you guys next Tuesday. Stay awesome.